Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to solve the numerical basis on the most test. This numerical is asked in GTU question paper of 2021, 26 November, as well as the same numerical is asked in the 2019, 6 December. And the data given for this numerical is a four cylinder, four stroke petrol engine develops 21 kilowatt. A Morse test was conducted at constant speed of 3000 rpm and the brake power is measured when each cylinder was cut off are 14.8, 14.5, 14.6 .5, and 14.75 kilowatt respectively. Find the indicated power of the engine when all cylinders are developing power. Also find the mechanical efficiency and Brake mean effective pressure. Take bore as 7.5 centimeters and stroke length is 9 centimeter. So students, first of all, we write it down the given data in this numerical. So first brake power is given that is 21 kilowatt. Then the RPM of the engine is given that is 3000 RPM. So RPM of an engine is given 3000 RPM. Now the brake power develop when the engine cylinders are cut off is given. So let me take the brake power when the engine cylinder 1 is cut off. So it is 14.8 kilowatt and likewise we are taking the another cylinders. So it is 14.5 kilowatt then brake power 3 is there. When the cylinder 3 is cut off, that is 14.6 kilowatt. And when the cylinder 4 is cut off, it means the 1, 2, 3 are generating a power. At that time, it is 14.75 kilowatt. The diameter of the bore or the cylinder is given, that is 7.5 centimeter. So it becomes a 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. And the stroke length is given that is 9 centimeter. So 9 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So this data is given as well as students. One more information is given that is the engine is a four stroke engine. So now we apply the most test and using the most test method, we are able to calculate the indicated power when the cylinders are cut off. So let me start using the most is we calculate the indicated power when the cylinder one is cut off. So is equals to the total brake power minus brake power one. So total brake power given over here is 21 and when the cylinder one is cut off it is given as 14.8. So the answer for IP one is 6.2 kilowatt. Similar method we apply for calculations of IP2. So it becomes the brake power total minus brake power 2. So we get 21 minus 14.5. So we get the 6.5 kilowatt. Similarly for IP3 it is total brake power minus brake power 3. So we get 21 minus 14.6 so we get 6.4 kilowatt similarly for ip4 the total brake power minus brake power 4 is there so we get 21 minus 14.75 so the ip4 is 6.25 kilowatt now using this all the individual IP generated by the cylinders, we are able to calculate the indicated power. So indicated power equals to IP1 plus IP2 plus IP3 plus IP4. So it becomes the 6.2 plus 6.5 plus 6.4 plus 6.25 so total indicated power generated by all four cylinder together is the 25.35 kilowatt so this is our first finding for this numerical now on the basis of indicated power and brake power we are able to calculate the mechanical efficiency 
So mechanical efficiency is equals to the brake power divided by the indicated power. So brake power is 21 and indicated power is 25.35. So answer for the mechanical efficiency will come as 0 0.8284. It means the efficiency in percentage is 82.84 percentage. So that is the mechanical efficiency of this engine. Now students, we know the formula of the brake power. So brake power is calculated using the mean brake effective pressure into the stroke length, into the area, into the RPM, into the number of cylinders divided by 60,000 to get the answers in kilowatt. So when we make the subjects that mean effective brake pressure, so we get the brake power into the 60,000 divided by area into the stroke length into the number of RPM into the number of cylinders. Now we know that area equals to 5 by 4 d square. So we put it down the value of every parameter. So brake power is 21 into 60,000 divided by area is 5 by 4 into the diameter which is given as the 7.5 centimeter it comes 0 0.075 in the meter into the stroke length is 9 so 9 into 10 to the power minus 2 that is in meter so rpm is given that is 3000 but it is the four stroke engine so it becomes n by 2 means 1500 and the number of cylinder is given as 4 so we have to multiply it with the 4 and here by simplifications and calculations we get the value of mean effective pressure that is 5.281 into 10 to the power 5 in the unit of newton per meter square if we convert this newton meter into bar then it becomes a 5.28 bar so in this way we are able to calculate the mean brake effective pressures for this engine so in this way students we are able to solve the numerical basis on the most test thank you thank you for watching this video thank you